What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today guys, I'm going to take you guys through my back and bicep workout. Um, it's going to be awesome because today I've not done any deadlifts for like a good month or so. So today we're going to get back into some deadlifts. We're going to go for a run rep max. We're going to see where we're at in terms of strength. Um, I've been doing a lot of barbell row work and um, T-bar row work more than the deadlifts. So I'm not too sure where I'm at in terms of strength on my deadlifts. We're going to try it out. It's going to be sick. Where is our fleet scoop neck right here? Um, Nike shorts and these Primark uh, all black men's leggings and also my red Rochers. Rochers, they, I, I swear they're not even a thing anymore. I've not seen Rochers in like ages, but anyway, um, first off, we're going to Nando's, uh, which is going to be sick. I'm going to absolutely bulk up on some Nando's food. We're going to get some, probably going to get like a whole chicken maybe or something like that. Um, either way, I'll let you guys know what I get at Nando's and um, I'll try and put the macros on here for my meal. Um, yeah. First off, I'm about to have myself a protein bar. This is a blueberry protein bar. Hang on, let's focus it. Macros are 6.9 grams of fat. 16 grams of carbs and 21 grams of protein. So that, in all my opinion, honestly, these are probably one of my favorite protein bars. Nice company Pro to go. You can literally pick them up from uh, Asda, Poundland, places like that. Just get yourself some of them. I've got a whole box here, which is great. Honestly, it's a great flavor. I love blueberry protein bars. One of my favorite. Okay yeah, guys, so we're on our way to Nando's right now. Um, I'm actually going to have like a little talk whilst I'm in Nando's and going to explain what I'd get if I was shredding and what I'd get if I was bulking so you guys can have some more information there. And um, yeah, it's going to be, the weather's honestly peng today. It's great. Alright guys, so we're now in Nando's now and pretty much uh, I'm going to go through what I'm going to get. So this is the first off what I'm going to get right now. So what I'm going to get is a butterfly chicken, whatever it is, right there. It's not fair to be there. There. I'm going to get a butterfly chicken with some spicy rice and probably some creamy mash. So spicy rice, creamy mash, that's what I'm going to get because I am trying to shred right now. I could get, but normally if I was bulking, then I'd probably get a whole chicken. Some very solid chips, some spicy rice, and garlic bread. Normally, but like I say, I want for curries. I'd also would normally have on a shred is a grilled chicken wrap. Uh, two, which I'd normally double on, get two pieces of chicken in there, and uh, normally some cheese or something like that. Alright, guys, so I've got some of it now, but what I've got is two portions of regular spicy rice. I've also got a flat chicken with medium spice on it, and also this palette of soup potato mash. Uh, feeling pretty full right now after eating the spicy rice, I'm gonna lie. But, um, I've not been down those in a while, man. Like, this feels great. Honestly, it does feel great. But, um, yeah, after this, probably gonna start getting ready to go to the gym. But I'm gonna go on first, then get ready to go to the gym. And then do some deadlifts, which I'm also freaking excited about, also. So, it should be a really, really good day. Alright guys, so we're about to go to the gym right now. I've just got this shaker here that I filled up with just water. Literally not taking pre-workout, not taking any ghost size or any sort of supplement at all. Just gonna have water for this workout. Um, sort of recently I've been taking a break off supplements just because I feel like... Recently I've been training about supplements because guys, I feel like I am becoming more dependent on them and I need to like make sure that I'm not becoming dependent on these supplements and that I can train and still have the same outcome even if I don't use them. They're just for my... They're just my personal preference to use them. Um, so yeah, basically that's why I've been training with some water recently. And also just give my body, you know, a relax. You know, with all the caffeine and all the creatine and everything basically. So that's kind of what I've been doing recently. Uh, anyway, I'm going to train some back and bicep. Hit hopefully a decent one rep PR. Probably won't be anything that I'm... Any weight that I've never touched before, but... Hopefully in the 200 range, that's more than 200 to maybe 210. 210 I'll be happy with. So anyway, let's go. At the gym now. Let's go guys. Yeah. 
Alright guys, I'm now back from the gym, uh, about to show you the meal that I'm just about to have. So here I've got 100 grams of rice, 150 grams of chicken, and probably about 70 to 80 grams of broccoli and kale there. So this is what I'm about to have right now, I'm about to put some sauce on the chicken, as well as the rice. I'm going to go for some barbecue sauce today I think. Right here. So yeah, I'm about to eat that up right now, and then I'm probably going to do a little talk in this video because I'm feeling like I'm in a ranty mood, so I'm going to do a nice big rant. Whether it, I don't know what it's going to be about yet, I'm going to think about it for the next, whilst I'm eating my food, put it together, put it in this vlog, it's going to be sick. Alright, so I just need to quickly clear something up. The video you're watching right now was recorded before Body Power, and obviously my Body Power vlog has been uploaded, because um, I was just too damn excited to upload it and show you guys it, because honestly... Probably easily one of my best videos so far, but obviously there's gonna be more videos to come guys So, you know, there'll be more videos to, you know, top that one But um, as you can see, I'm wearing my glasses, which is something you guys never see me uh, wear I don't really need glasses, but I am slightly blind So let's say I'm in college, sat right at the back in the class Sometimes I need to bust them out if the writing's a bit too small But um, anyway, back to what I was saying This video was uploaded, this video was made before Body Power but um, I didn't finish off the video and like record the last clip, which is this talk. And this was this talk's being done after Body Power, does that make sense? It's not too complicated, but I just wanted to address that just in case there was a bit of confusion about how earlier on in the video I was like, oh yeah, should this video before Body Power because Ellis was a donut and didn't get it done in time. But with that said, guys, let's go on to the talk. Today, guys, I want to talk about judgment, and pretty much it is um, honestly a pretty big topic for me as I feel it is something that really people need to address more. And um, basically, guys, you know, no matter what you do in life, you will be judged. If you're a lawyer, you'll be judged by people. If you're an accountant or a business owner, clothing brand, PT, gym owner, so that. No matter what you do, guys, no matter what job you have, no matter what skills you have, no matter how you look, no matter anything, people will judge you for it. And what you've got to realise is, guys, is that you need to accept that these people are going to judge you no matter what. At the end of the day, you've just got to do you. And it's hilarious, guys, because in high school, I got mocked for doing YouTube. I got mocked for doing my Instagram page. Absolutely mocked for it. Honestly, I remember just like you know, the amount of text messages and stuff like that that I receive of people saying like, you know, just making jokes out of it basically, like saying, oh, look at this face on the screenshot of my video, or like, oh, you don't even look good here, mate, Are you even, do you even lift, bro? Or like, you know, because I'm a little bit short because I'm five foot eight, saying like, oh, you're a mini Arnold and stuff like that. And like, they don't realise the effect that like comments like these have on people, like honestly, it's such a big thing today and like, one of the things that I will address in this video, people don't understand how much these comments can impact your self-esteem and honestly, it's one of those things with like the life of fame. Now, I'm not 100% anyone famous, I will, I will like, you know, I'm not trying to say that, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, with people who are social media influencers or, you know, have a huge following, there is also that negative aspect to it. Like, you will have people who are negative about you and will say awful things about you and there's nothing you can do about it, you know. Some people will love you and some people will hate you and honestly, guys, you just got to do you anyway. But... What I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, they don't realise that the impact these comments can have on your self-esteem and it's insane because it's like, you know, if if you didn't have something that they didn't have, they probably wouldn't even care. They probably wouldn't even be trying to hate on you and that's the sad thing about it. It's so important, guys, that you be yourself and be who you are, especially in today's age. Like, say, guys, you're going to get judged no matter what you do and, like, I said, it's so important, guys, that you be yourself and just be who you are and don't let any judgments of anyone stop you from doing those things because honestly guys you know people are going to judge you anyway so you might as well just live your life the way you want to it, people don't realize that if you put in the work you will get the results and like it's funny because like all these people who hate 99 percent of them are the people who didn't put the work in and like it's crazy because you've got people like me you've got people like christian guzman you've got people like rob litzer people who are influencers not even just like fitness related people you know people like zach efron the rock all these people guys and they all say the goddamn same thing put in the work and you will see the results and it's insane how many people can't grasp that concept of success you know success it's not a straightforward plan you're not going to go straight up it's going to be up down up down up down and you twice you guys you half the time you're never even going to know where you're at you've just got to put in the work envision your goal and keep that in mind because like at the end of the day you can't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams you can't let any comments any judgments 
anyone's opinion let you stop you from going forward with your life, going and chasing your goals. <sighs> okay, this is like, whew, I think I've said it from that one off my chest, guys. This has been an omega run. But um, I'm going to end the video here now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've cleaned my room especially for all this talk, guys. So, you know, please thumbs up the video for that. You know, I put in the extra work there. And um, pretty much I'll see you guys in the next one, which I'm probably going to talk about organisation since that is a big thing for me right now. So with that said, see you guys later. Please like, subscribe and comment. Peace. <laughs> Be the fan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely In these fast times, chasing life